Brakeem Habarim, welcome. This is Messianic Moment Ministries. I'm Stephen Brook, and you know who you are on this first day of June 2021. We're just about halfway through this year. God willing, by the end of the year, we'll all be back to normal. But in any event, so today's message is all about get thee behind me, Satan. And we all know this statement, the one Yeshua made to Kepha, Peter, when Kepha chided him for saying that he must die. Yet, I don't think anyone really believes that Yeshua was accusing Kepha of being the devil. What he meant, as he explained right after saying this to him, is that Kepha was thinking not on a spiritual plane or in accordance with what God has decided should be done, but on a personal, selfish, in other words, human level. In other words, Kepha wanted things to go the way he wanted, not the way God wanted. The feeling of your will be done, not mine, <laughs> was not in Kepha's heart. So, no. how many times have we been like Kepha? For example, right now Israel has been under the worst attack it has been through for a while. <clears throat> and all I see are postings about praying for the peace there. And yes, <laughs> we are told to pray for the peace of Jerusalem in Psalm 122.6. But if we pray for men to make peace, is that really God's will? Are we pulling a kifa? Meaning, are we asking for what we want even when we know that God has a different plan? <laughs> oh, wait, how, how do I know that God has a different plan for Israel? Well, he's told us he does, and quite often. All the way back to even before the Israelites entered Canaan. God showed Moses the apostasy that would take place in the future, the punishment they would have to endure, and the eventual regathering of the dispersed tribes to Israel. Through the prophets, God told us what the people living then should expect in their immediate future and at the Akharit Hayamim, in other words, at the end days. And if there's still doubt that God's plan for this world is... <laughs> It's terrible. It's full of violence, injustice, anti-Semitism, hatred, and worldwide destruction. Well, <laughs> if you think that's not God's plan, then you must not have ever read the vision given to John, who recorded it in Revelation. Look, I'm not saying, I am not saying that we shouldn't be concerned or feel pity for those being tortured and mistreated throughout the Middle East and the rest of the world, for that matter. No. What I'm saying is that we should pray for this service to stop, but not by anything men do. On the contrary, history has proven that the best peace men can make is a temporary one. And since the Middle East conflict of brother versus brother, well, it's been going on since the time of Abraham, it doesn't even make sense that it will stop until something more influential and more powerful than mortals intervenes. And we all know who that is, Yeshua. So when you see the rockets coming down on innocent Israelis, as well as Arabs, there are Arabs who are innocent but are forced to live with Hamas and Jihad in their backyards. Did you know that the hundreds and hundreds of rockets fell in Gaza? They were misfires and they killed their own people. Well, as you read of that, and you also read of the torture and imprisonment of Christians throughout the world, and you see the United States of America, the very symbol of freedom and independence, turn into a socialistic enabler, giving housing, food, and medical service to foreign invaders while ignoring their own people and the veterans who are sleeping on the streets. Well, then you know that this is all coming about as part of God's plan for the world. So yes, pray for peace, but not for the peace that men make. Pray for the ultimate and eternal peace that will come only when Yeshua returns. He told his disciples that if not for the short period of tribulation, no one would survive. That's Matthew 24, 22. <clears throat> Excuse me. So pray that the tribulation comes quickly and is over quickly <laughs> and that you survive it. Don't pray for what goes against God's plan. 
And whether or not you like what God has planned, <laughs> get with the program because it will happen. What God has planned for humanity is going to come about no matter how we feel or what we pray for. So pray for that which is keeping with God's will. Look, really, I hate, I hate to see the suffering and the injustice being done to Israel by the media and the world, especially by the American public and government. But this all has to be. Now look, you can pray for whatever you want to, but as for me, I pray that the tribulation comes and goes and that those suffering will be able to find eternal rest in God's presence because I never want to hear, get thee behind me. Amen. Well, thank you for being here. Please like my Facebook page, my Messianic Moment Facebook page, and subscribe here on the website using one of these icons and go back to the website, I'm sorry, here on YouTube by using an icon and go back to the website. There's a subscribe button in the right hand margin, the different lists. So please subscribe to both, both. And please share these messages with everyone you know to help this ministry continue to grow. I also have a discussion group. It's called Just God's Word and anyone can join just so long as they agree to the rules. Well, that's it for today. Show. Sure. So, show? <laughs> so, the throat and Baruch Hashem.